Thin Manager can deliver content and react to events within your environment to increase productivity and reaction time based on your configuration. We call this Thin Manager events. Let's see an example of Thin Manager events in action. In the Thin Manager interface, on the left side tree, you'll find the tab for Thin Manager events. Click that tab and you will see the events that are set up in your environment. To create a new event, just like with all the other parts of Thin Manager, you would right click and select Add Event. When creating a new event, first, give the event a name. I'm going to name this Test Event. Next, for the event type, you have two choices, Generic or Pinpoint. Pinpoint is a separate application licensed for use with Thin Manager, Factory Talk View, and Logix. You can learn more about Thin Manager Logix Pinpoint and its uses by visiting thinmanager.com. So I'm going to choose Generic as my type. At this point, we need to add expressions to our event to match properties in our applications. As with most coding statements, Thin Manager events uses comparative logics like equal, not equal, greater than, and less than. It can also use contains, begins with, and matches pattern. You can set the value type to int or integer, string or real. You set your value and operation logic to either an or statement or an and statement and click OK. You can also group your events to event groups as well. Then click the next button. Now you can select your event action. There are many actions for events depending on your needs and specific configuration. Adding or removing display clients, e-signature, or even permission changes. For the event target terminal, you can specify a specific terminal to assign the event action or select to source terminal to have the action take place wherever the event action occurs. Next, we can edit the event target display client list to select the display client we want to have added and visualized when our event occurs. These lists and options change dynamically depending on the event action that you have selected. If I change the action to e-signature, you can see the options change for that event. I'm going to change it back to add display client and select one of my display clients that I already have configured in Thin Manager. We can just choose a desk, we'll just choose a desktop display client. At this point, we would click finish. We now see our test event in the list of Thin Manager events. Now to show you how Thin Manager events work, I already have some events set up in my configuration. I'm gonna double click on ISA Milk Reserve Full. You can see I have one expression listed. Double clicking on that shows that we are simply looking for a property of int to equal one. By clicking next, we see that we are going to present a display client called FT Diagnostic Viewer when the event is triggered from whatever source terminal produces the event. Now let's see this in action. By clicking the Terminals tab in Thin Manager, I'm going to shadow my 6300T terminal. I have a button to open my Milk Reserve monitor and I'll turn it on. When the reserve gets full, it will trigger our event and we should be presented with the, do, with the new diagnostic viewer display client that we have set in the Thin Manager event. Sure enough, what, once the reserve gets full, we have the display client added to our screen. Once the event is no longer true, it goes away automatically. This is a simple example, but hopefully you can see the power of Thin Manager events and just how quickly you can respond to designated actions in your production or industrial environment. To learn more about Thin Manager events, configuring actions, and customizing it for your specific needs, visit thinmanager.com and read our white paper dedicated to Thin Manager events.